Fried chicken. These days, it's everywhere. Every fast food chain, every restaurant, pre-made in supermarkets, and what's not to love? Well, like many things in this world, there's one really interesting thing about fried chicken. There are just so many ways that you can make it. I was recently searching online for all the different ways to make fried chicken. I found so many different methods, so I figured I'd experiment a little bit. But to start, I want us to accept three simple premises. Number one, chicken is far better when first soaked in buttermilk. Buttermilk is acidic, so it breaks down all the protein in that chicken and makes it not only more tender, but more flavorful. Second, double frying is the best frying method for fried chicken. It cooks it through and locks in all the moisture and makes it so much crispier. And number three, drums are better than flats. Sorry, I said what I said. Now with that being said, I'm gonna give you a quick second to toss a like on the video and make sure you don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then we're gonna get started. To start, we'll go into our bowl with all of our wings. Ah, oh, we lost a precious drum. I wish it was a flat. Like I said before, what we have here are some delicious looking juicy drums, as well as your typical good old flat. Now, like I said, we're gonna keep everything really consistent here. So I'm gonna go over all of these wings with some buttermilk, and then by no means is this necessary, but I'm then gonna add some pickle juice, which is my secret ingredient for making the brine of the chicken extremely flavorful. Let's let this sit for a couple hours to let them get nice and tender and get all that flavor. While we wait for our chicken to brine, I wanna quickly teach everybody the different parts of a chicken. It's time for some chicken anatomy. Give me a quick sec, be right back. To start, this is the chicken's What butt. are you doing? What are you doing? To start, this is where you get your flats. This wing right here. They chop off this part and you're left with that section right there. Now if I flip the bird over, it's a bit more obvious, but right here is the drum. And this big soft section right above the drum are the thighs. Now if we flip it all the way the rest over, right here and right here are our two breasts. No. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the anatomy of a chicken. For our first test, we're gonna drop in our wings with no coating at all. They've just been soaked in buttermilk and that's it. To start with the double fry process, which is gonna be standard throughout all our wings, we'll fry these just a few minutes at 325 Fahrenheit. And at this point, the first round of frying for these wings is done. Now we're back in at 375 till golden brown and crispy. And now our chicken is complete. And I have to say, those look pretty fantastic. I've set those aside and now we'll jump to our second test. Our wings dredged in just flour. Keep in mind, of course we have to season these and you can season them all in any way you want. But today we're purely trying to test what makes the crispier, better, juicier wings. I'll follow the same exact process for frying these wings. After a few minutes, check out how our flour dredged wings look. I mean, they got that amazing crispiness that you'd see on Popeye's chicken, and all we did was lightly dust them with flour. As you can see, we already have the really nice pattern, but now it's time to get that beautiful, darker golden brown color. So in we go. And after just a few minutes, these are all set. Now on to the next one. For our next experiment, we're gonna first drop the chicken in egg and then into flour because I wanna see exactly what those differences look like. So to start into the egg, I go until it's nice and fully coated and then into the flour. And once all that chicken is ready to fry into our 325 Fahrenheit oil, we go. These babies look extraordinarily crispy. And I feel like we might've just hacked the recipe for how Popeyes makes their chicken. They're already a light golden color, but it's time to get them super golden. And after just a few minutes, check these bad boys out. Now for our last test here, potato starch. Frankly, this is the only thing I ever fry, and so it's gonna be good to put it up head to head against chicken fried in all purpose flour. To do this, I'm very simply gonna dredge these buttermilk wings in the potato starch, shake off that excess, and then these beauties are ready to fry. Now when these wings are dredged, it's time for our last round of frying. I am really excited to see how these compare to the rest, because this has always been my tried and true method, but maybe I'll be proved wrong today. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. As soon as we pull these out from the first round of frying, you can totally see that it looks like a different kind of crispiness. It's almost more bubbly, as opposed to having those crispy bits that you'd often see on Popeye's chicken. Now it's time to get these potato starch coated beauties as crispy as they can possibly get. And voila. Now we have our tray divided into several sections, but first I want you to hear the crispiness as I drop on our potato starch covered wings. I just want you to take a good hard look at this chicken right here. Tell me that's not some of the crispiest chicken you've ever seen. Let's go through each of our four options here. To start, we have our chicken that was dredged in nothing. What you can see right there is dryness and is essentially damaged to the chicken. Frankly, without even biting into these, I know they're probably gonna be pretty tasty, but they're not gonna be as juicy. In fact, they're gonna be more chewy because we've dried them out a lot. They had no protection. Second is our chicken that was fried in just flour. As you can see, the crispiness is off the charts, but it gets better. When we move on over to that chicken that was fried in the egg and then flour, for whatever reason, it just looks a lot crispier. Now, I don't exactly know why that is, but I like it. And of course, last but not least, the potato starch. It's a different type of crispiness, but one that you just have to hear and can't really see. Let's try these out and give them a ranking. First things first, let's try the basic undredged wings. 
It's kind of like I thought. A little bit dry and chewy, but honestly, if you dredge these in sauce, which would give it some moisture, it wouldn't be too bad. But we can do better than that. Let's bite into a wing that was just put in flour. Definitely juicy, certainly with a really nice crust, but I feel like you have to eat these pretty quickly before they start to get soggy. But I'm really excited to see whether or not I'll taste the egg in the egg flour dredge ones. So let's dive right in. Interestingly, I'd say we have the same juiciness levels and crispiness levels for that matter. And you can't really taste the egg until the end, but I actually think that I really like it. And because that texture on the outside is just a little bit better with the egg, I'd so far choose this one with the egg without a question. But we still have the wings with potato starch. By the way, notice how I'm only eating the drums because they're better. Listen to this. For starters, just look at all the juice in this chicken right here. There's so much that when I squeeze it, it's burning my hand. The thing about the potato starch wing is this. I believe it does a better job at locking in all the moisture, but perhaps most importantly, remaining crispy for a long time after the wings have finished frying. Honestly, right out of the fryer, I am torn between eating the flour dredge and the potato starch dredge. I really am. But as time goes on, those flour wings quickly start to look older and sadder and soggier. And that's when potato starch comes into play. Now, the amazing thing here is we barely even scratched the surface of what you could test with crispy chicken. And perhaps I'll do more tests like this. But for today, if I had to decide based on what we've done, what would be the very best crispy chicken, I would pick potato starch and likely also dredge it in a little bit of egg. For now, I wanna thank you all for watching this video, remind you one last time to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And to my notifications gang, I see you and I appreciate you. See you next time.